Hey guys, I'm Jonas. Today I'm going to show you how to get your zero turn mower serviced and ready to go. For this video, we're going to be using this Hustler Fast Track, but this general procedure is going to be the same no matter what make or model of residential zero turn mower you have. The first thing that I like to do is start draining your engine oil. Most of these engines have a drain that's coming out of the side of the block that either has a drain tube on it already or you, your mower may have came with a drain tube in with the owner's manual that will slip onto there to help direct the oil out away from the engine into your oil pan. On most of your Kawasaki and Kohler engines, these use a 10 millimeter wrench to loosen the drain plug. While our engine oil is draining, we can go ahead and change out our spark plugs. I do like to use the air compressor to blow off around these spark plugs before you remove them in case there's any dirt or debris built up around them so that you don't knock that into your engine while trying to reinstall your new spark plugs. On these Kawasaki engines, if you don't have an opening in your engine plate below the oil filter like we do, you can use the bottom of a cup, just cut down short enough to fit underneath of that filter to catch the oil that's going to run off of the bottom of it so it doesn't make a mess. To remove these filters, I just use a pair of oil filter pliers. I'll leave a link in the description below. Before installing your new oil filter, you need to put some oil on the gasket. An easy way to keep track of when you did your oil filter is to use a silver or black sharpie, depending on the color of your oil filter, to write on the bottom of the filter the hours when you changed your oil. Spin your new filter on and hand tighten only. Throughout the mowing season, you should be checking your air filter every time or every other time that you're mowing, depending on your conditions. But I like to replace the air filter every season or every time that you do an oil change. You can use a rag to cover up your intake and then use an air hose to blow off the inside of your air filter housing. Now using a pair of pliers to slide the clamps back on the fuel filter, we can remove the fuel lines and then install our new fuel filter. Your new fuel filter should have a directional arrow on you showing you which way that the fuel is flowing. That arrow needs to be pointed towards the carburetor. One thing that you want to watch out for on these engines is making sure that the screen on your fuel pump does not get plugged with dirt. Once all your oil is done draining, you can tighten down your drain plug and remove the oil drain tube if necessary. If you have a Kawasaki engine like this with the plastic drain plug, be careful not to over tighten the drain plug. Most of these V-twin engines are going to hold two quarts of engine oil. Now you need to start and run your engine for 5 to 10 seconds, then shut it off and double check your engine oil level. On these residential mowers, I recommend changing your engine oil every 50 hours or once a season, whichever comes first. That's going to wrap it up for today, guys. If you got some good value out of this video, please hit that thumbs up button. Consider subscribing. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.